Okay, hi, um, this is going to be the next batch of videos that I'm going to create in College Algebra and this will particularly talk about special products, this video I mean. So um, when we talk about special products, so there are, um, the pro these are the products of two or more polynomials uh, in which process it shows some certain patterns. Okay, so um, we're going to talk about the first batch, which is four, there are four of them. Okay, and I'm going to give some um, brief examples for each one. Okay, so we say that for all A, B, C in the reals, in the real numbers, we consider the following, and we will have for number one, um, A times the quantity of B plus C plus D is equal to this. Um, actually, this is simply um, by the distributive property. Okay, and I'll give you an example for number one. Say we have a um, simple one, 2x. 2x times the quantity of, say, um, so we have x plus 3y plus 2z. So what, what's the answer here? We're just going to follow this. So in the first term, that's ab. Second is ac. Um, third is ad. That is simply we are um, distributing the 2x. This will be our a. So this will become, in our next line, this will become 2x times x. That's going to become 2x squared since we have lots of products. Okay, so multiplying um, terms with the same base is going to, you know, add up the exponents. Okay, so that's for our first term plus um, 2x times 3, 3y. So we're going to multiply the coefficients. 2 times 3 is 6. And then we're going to copy the x. We're going to copy the y. Okay, and then plus, um, same is true with the, with the 2x times the 2z. So we have four, 2 times 2 is 4, and we're going to write x, z. So that's it. Um, if we're going to do, the, to do the, 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 the reverse, we call that the common monomial factoring. And we're going to talk about that in the next video. Um, number 2, we have a plus b times the quantity of a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So... How did that happen? So, for example, we have, say, we have an A. For example, um, simple one, two, okay, plus Y times quantity of, well, let me point that out, a two minus Y. So, the answer is, so, um, first condition, um, the first terms must be the same. Second condition, the second terms must be the same, okay? And last condition, they must have different operations a plus and a minus or a minus and a plus um you will have this will be equal to um the first term being squared minus the second term being squared so the first term is two so two squared is four and then minus the second term being squared so this is it this is the answer um, if we're going to do the reverse, we call that the DOTS, or the difference of two squares. Okay, for number three, let's do number three over here down below. So we have A plus B times the quantity of A plus B. So A and B must be the same. So, for example, we will have, um, say, X for the A and plus 2 for the X. Or let's have another number. Let's make it... <laughs> let's make it... Um, three okay a good improvement <laughs> right so we have x plus three times x plus three actually you can rewrite that since we are multiplying two binomials okay so that's going to become x plus three quantity squared that's why it's written here and then how do we expand that um we're going to follow this pattern a squared plus two a b plus b squared so if we're going to follow that thoroughly this will become um, x squared since we're squaring the first term and the first term is x. Uh, we're going to multiply the first and second term, thus the ab, and then multiply that overall by 2. We're going to follow that, so plus x plus 3, or uh, x times 3 rather is 3x times 2. It's going to give us 6x. And then square the last term lastly, so that's going to become 9. Okay, so that's one example for our number three. For number four, so 
they're both minus signs. So let's make use of the same example. So x minus 3 times x minus 3. So this can be rewritten as actually as x minus 3 quantity squared since we have this one term and this another term. Um, we multiply them together, okay, by itself. And then you can rewrite that as x minus 3 quantity squared. Okay, how do we write this? Uh, the same is the same thing with the number 3, but notice here the sign is different, specifically the sign of the middle term. So if that happens, actually we can just copy this, change this only. Okay, so what we have is x squared minus 6x plus 9. And that's for our first batch of videos in the special products 1 to 4. Okay, for our special products 1 to 4.